this is Jimmy Heisel. I just want to let everybody know. I ain't making none of this shit up. I'm not on drugs. I'm not on anything. I don't do shit. I met this woman about six, seven months ago. Long story fucking short, I married her about two months ago. She said she's been trying to tell me something ever goddamn since we've been together. I've been cutting her fucking grass every fucking week I've been there. I come across the fucking bone, ask her questions about it. And, well, long story short, I found out more than I wanted to know. She'd been telling me shit for about six months about things about that pile. I've been wanting to move it and make a frog pond because I took a pool down and I was going to take the liner out and dig a hole and put a fucking koi fish pond and frog pond, whatever. Well, she told me, she's like, you don't want to do that. She says, there's things in the bottom of that hole that'll make you hate me. And she went on and on and on over the months, just fucking little head games. And finally, every time she'd talk to me about anything, I got that gut feeling she was trying to hold shit back from me. So I was about to leave her ass. Not fucking exaggerating one little bit. I was about to fucking leave her ass. I said, bitch, I'm telling you right now. I said, you're out here doing something or, or you're hiding something. I said, because I, I, I got this gut fucking feeling. I said, I'm not going to fucking put up with this bullshit no more. I said, I'm about to fucking leave. She said, like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. She said, like, what do you want to know? I said, I want to know one goddamn dark secret about your fucking life. We was drinking. I won't lie. Well, she's like, well, what do you want to know? And blah, blah, blah. And I, she just tried to turn shit around on me. She's like, why are you dogging me, motherfucker? Why are you always wanting to get in my shit? Why are you always want to know what's on my mind? I said, motherfucker, you're hiding something. And every goddamn time a fucking conversation comes up, you always try to make out like I'm fucking some mental motherfucker or some shit stir or some shit like that. I said, I found a goddamn bone out there in that burn pile. She grabs her fucking chest and she's like, oh my God, really? I said, yeah, fucking really. I said, won't you fucking tell me what the fuck's going on and what the fuck's out there? Well, she's like, I can't talk right now. I'm fucking drinking, blah, blah, blah. We'll talk about this in the morning. I'm like, well, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm going to go lay down on the couch. So I went to bed on the fucking couch. Well, I get up next morning. I call my kayaking buddies, and you can ask them. I called every one of them. I said, oh, I'm going to cancel because... Uh, I gotta go pay rent, which I did, but that wasn't the reason I canceled. Well, she come out on the fucking porch in her fucking bathing suit and says, I'm ready. This is like 8 o'clock in the morning. I said, ready for what? She's like, go kayaking. I said, well, have fun. She's like, what do you mean? I said, I'm not fucking going nowhere with your fucking ass until you're fucking honest with me. So she starts pounding the fucking walls, cussing it like a goddamn sailor, freaking the fuck out. I'm like, what the fuck? I've never seen this side ever, ever. And I'd only been married to her for two months. Well, next goddamn thing I know... She comes out, puts her head down between her legs, sits there for about 20 fucking minutes, and I looks over, well, I'm only sitting like three foot from her, and I notice a couple tears every now and then. I said, don't start the fucking pity party. I said, I ain't fucking playing that fucking bullshit. I'll be goddamn. She raises her head up and goes, <sighs> looks at me. She said, you sure you want to know? I said, there ain't nothing you can tell me that's going to make me fucking hate you. So I turned my chair facing her, I was like this close to her, and I was holding her hands, and I kissed her and shit. I said, there ain't nothing that you can tell me that's going to make me fucking hate you. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, the fucking shit she told me, I wanted to fucking kill her my fucking self. Because I got a goddamn daughter named Samantha. <laughs> and I'm fucking about to die over this fucking bullshit. She said, Samantha Burns is right there. And I fucking about had a heart attack. So I tried to play it off. I said, that ain't nothing. She said, well, that ain't all. There's other bodies. And I'm like, whoa. So I said, well, you got to. I fucking freaked the fuck out. I said, you got to get your ass to the fucking cops. And I said, you got to fucking tell them everything you told me. She's like, oh, no, 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 no. She said, why don't we just dig up the pile, throw it in Sims Creek, and go on about our life. For the next fucking 30, 40 years. I'm like, you're out of your fucking mind. She said, you're already an accessory. I'm fucking, what do you mean I'm an accessory? She said, I done told, I said, oh, fuck you, bitch. I'm going to the fucking cops whether you come with me or not. I said, I'm going to give you the chance to tell your fucking story or I'm going to go in at her and tell them what you fucking told me. Well, she said, close the door and sit down. Calm down. So I went and got down fucking closed the door. She said, why don't you, uh, just forget about this, and let's go ahead and dig it up, and we'll go ahead and put a koi fish pond there. I said, fuck you, bitch. I tried to dig that fucking hole up for fucking five fucking months, and you kept jumping my ass over fucking leaving it alone. 
And I said, and then when I found a fucking bone, you want to start fucking shit and make me out of a mental motherfucker. Well, I lost my business. I lost my home. I lost my fucking truck. I lost my kayaks. I lost every fucking thing. And then now she told me I opened up a goddamn can of worms that's going to get me fucking killed. She's got fucking a fucking goddamn nightmare I ain't never fucking heard. She told me shit that's stuck in my head. I can't even fucking sleep. And y'all motherfuckers want to act like I done lost my goddamn mind. I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to find fucking human remains. Mark my goddamn words. That's all I can say about that. And Rebecca Bo Cook Hughes, you're going to fucking see justice. I promise you, I will not fucking shut up. I will not fucking rest until you fucking see justice, you fucking dirty, black-hearted bitch. And that's all I got to fucking say.